Hey everybody, I have got myself a nice, very, very nice set of 100 watt floodlights. Now, these are decent sized, they're not too bad. Um, here's your standard 5 16 metal screw, so I'll give you an idea their physical size. I mean, they're, they're, they're a pretty good size. They're about a foot long and, I don't know, six and a half, seven inches wide. And these things are absolutely shocking output. I don't know if a lot of people have seen these. I think you might see them if you get the glare off of that. The very tough, very durable, very long lasting. I've installed these before and these are the newer models. Uh, we're going to show a before and after. So here's what I'm doing. Now these are, these are simple. These are simple, well labeled, well labeled for line, ground, and common. That is your hot, your white wire and your ground pretty much are the same, um, except for a fault system. And the instructions are excellent. So I'm gonna give these guys that. This is the brand right here. So as the sun's out, pretty bright here. Right there, Inforo is the brand. Um, you can get these from different companies. They look similar, but it all depends on those LEDs if whether or not you're thinking well that can't be very bright look at the little bitty LEDs well these are high power there is a difference and it's the difference in the amount of uh, um, amperes whatever they use in that it's whatever that chemical is so this is a real genuine I tested them they pull 101 watts that's it but they put out the equivalent of a 650 watt halogen it's mind-boggling the difference so this is what they've got this is different offers look below the video i'll put a link and i might be able to hear it look right here i'm going to put a um, qr code right up here okay so you can take your phone and point at that if it's your phone you can tap on it i think i'm not sure how this works these are not expensive they're not dirt cheap there are much cheaper ones, but these are about upper, I don't know, 5% more than the cheapest ones, but they're worth more. These are worth more. It's a little better built, and you'll see that even by the gauge of the metal frame they're using. This ain't, this ain't that little flimsy stuff. It's actually very hard to bend that. That's a good sign. So, there you go, multiples, and where we're putting it is up on the, up on the wall of the shop up here. So, it's going to go one up here. And then right around the corner, we're going to put one there, and then we'll have a nighttime view. All right, so let's get a daytime view here. Got a trench dug over here. All right, you see that? That's what your daytime view kind of looks like. All right, all of this out here. All right, now, um, I'll kind of click that a few times back and forth so you can see the difference when these are on. It makes a difference. So out here, we have all of this. There's a lot of crap piled up out here. We're doing a lot of work. So let's get these mounted. What I'm working with is I'm working with metal screws because they got a metal building, 5 16 driver, a quarter if that's what you need for like, I'd use like roofing screws with the pads on them, a uh, taper bit. So a taper bit's quite an important little animal when you're going to go through metal and you're going to use grommets, you see? So we're going to use grommets for the wires right there. And I got me a handful of those. Uh, there's two different size openings. I'm going to figure which one is best. Let's go drill the hole and we'll see what we're working with here. Up the old guy goes up the ladder. And we just find us a nice happy high spot to go up here. And I'll get this finished. that finished size for my grommet hard to do it with holding this camera and we'll put that in and I'm gonna show you this light mounted we have that mounted in and before you go any further you're gonna remove your mounting bracket this right here now you're gonna use a six millimeter Let's see if I can get that in view there six millimeter wrench I guess that's the Allen wrench. There you go, six millimeter. And you're gonna remove that. Now, some of these have little tiny eight millimeter uh, um, regular cap bolts, and the threads are just tiny, but I want you to look at how big the bolts are on this thing. These are no punks, okay? So that's, that's why I'm telling you this particular brand right here. 
it sometimes it makes a difference because each one of these people that have these and they sell them, well, they spec different types of hardware, they spec different bulbs, and they kind of all look the same. This one has got one of the larger cooling fin setups that I have seen. This, I mean, you're talking over, oh, some in some case, almost three quarters of an inch, and that's huge. Most of them, it's like, I mean, just a quarter inch. I think like, uh, what is it, uh, seven millimeter, and this over here is supposed to be like 14 millimeters, so big difference. So you'll remove these and get them off, and this right here um, is the 100 watt model right here, 100 watt. It is, you don't, I'll be honest, guys, and unless you want to light up a football stadium, you don't need the 150. The 50 is, like, say, res, if you're residential, your neighbors might complain. I would, I would probably, I don't know, I'd probably go with the G20, to be honest. But look for all of them that I put down here in the link below, and you'll see what I'm talking about. They, they're, they're way brighter than you should expect. So, all right, so we take this off, and we're going to go up there and mount it on the wall using these screws right here. And it gives it extremely sturdy. I mean, look at, look at the girth of that for a mounting bracket. You don't usually see that coming out of China. That's pretty good. And, of course, it's China. So where else, you know? All right, let's get these up here, and I'm going to show you what they look like, and then we'll go to a nighttime experience. And pardon my hands, this is a new phone uh, camera setup, so getting used to it. All right, let's get that put up there. All right, and a little side note, don't forget your protective plastic, like your cell phones come with, take that off. Make sure it's not on there, because you'll think like, well, that ain't as bright as I paid. There you go. All right, so we have one light here on the back of the building, and it's going to shine. Wow, well, you can't really see it. There's the moon. It's going to shine out here around the plum trees and the back 40, and back there were cures in the backyard. I don't know, it's about 200 yards away. Uh, squirrel hunting, and so it's going to shine all out there. And then let's go look at the other one right quick. And there's the other one up here, right here above the big sliding door. And y'all remember when you put your wire through your wall, whether it be wooden, metal, or whatever, make sure it kind of like does a little drop before it goes in so that any water coming down won't follow it back into your house or your building, all right? So as you can see up that one there, it has a little drop before it goes in to that grommet there. All right, so here in a minute, we're going to turn them on. I got to wait to dark. Okay, now up inside the building up here, as for wiring together, notice the wire combination here. And I'm just using an extension cord because this is my shop. And later I'll wire that more complete. But there you go. The green wire would be the, the um, uncoated wire in a piece of Romex. But you see the similar connections. Just connect them like this right here. Like that. Pretty simple. Make sure you twist your wires good. Keep them firm and... After a while, you might want to put a zip tie there, like I'm going to later. But right now, we'll just use that for testing. And now, we go to the daytime, nighttime shot. All right, guys. Now, you just seen, here's a clip of the before. All right, you see that? That's what your daytime view kind of looks like. And now, you're going to see, after the lights were put in, what it looks like afterwards. All right, I'm going to have her turn those off again. Turn them off. I'll hold the camera up a little higher. Now, power them back up. And we're talking severe lighting. There's one right there. And those little bitty old lights around that camper, they don't mean nothing. But, man, man, are these things unbelievable. So, I can promise you, you don't need the 150. If you want it, you can get it. But I don't recommend it if you don't need it. Wow. And this camera is trying like hell to <laughs> It's dimming. My camera is dimming. This is so crazy. It should be showing you a lot more than it is, but it's literally dimming. It's like I'm looking at the sunlight. It's it's just bright. So it's a day, it's I don't know, I don't know how to set this thing right yet, but it's like a daytime setting. But what do you think? Not bad, huh? All right, we got a huge area that's lit up. And we got the trench for the water lines for that big tank over there. We got a 2,500 gallon tank to go with that other thousand gallon. And man, this is nice. Very nice. All right, y'all. 
Uh, look below the uh, video. I'll put what I can for parts used. If you need them, check them out. Y'all be good.